Thank you so much for allowing us to give you an update on the FDOT Golden Glades Interchange Project. My name is Sergis Duarte. I am the Senior Community Outreach Specialist for this upcoming and very exciting project that we're all looking forward to starting very soon. So this project is led by the collaborative efforts of the Florida Department of Transportation District 6 and Florida's Turnpike Enterprise. And this GGI project really represents a milestone in Florida's commitment to building transportation infrastructure that connects communities and fosters economic growth. So as I mentioned, this is a, a partnership between FDOT and the Florida's Turnpike Enterprise, and we're looking to start construction during the week of March 18th of this year. So this is a project that's been in the planning phase. There might be people in this room that assisted with getting us here to this point in time where we're ready to start the construction phase. And the primary purpose of this project is to enhance regional mobility. Um, and to revitalize this major transportation interchange. And if you're not aware with this interchange, it connects five very important facilities to the regional area, and that's I-95, Palmetto Expressway, the Turnpike, SR9, and SR7, US 441 Northwest 7th Avenue. So the GGI project is part of the Moving Florida Forward Infrastructure Initiative. And as part of that initiative, FDOT identified previously approved projects that only lacked funding to move into this construction phase. So due to Florida's sound fiscal health, $4 billion from the general revenue surplus has been dedicated to this initiative to advance constructions on projects around the state, such as the GGI project, that will address congestion, improve safety, ensure the resiliency of our transportation network and enhance Florida supply chain and economic growth. So like I mentioned, the project starts next month. So if you guys live in South Florida, you guys might be really interested in terms of what to expect and we'll get into that later on in the presentation. The project is scheduled to be in construction through fall of 2031. The current project cost is 908 million and in terms of lane closures, we'll, we'll discuss a little bit about the maintenance of traffic, but there will be overnight lane closures, there will be detours, there will be traffic shifts, and we're getting ready to launch a dedicated project website, go-ggi.com, where we'll be able to host all of that information in terms of lane closures, fact sheets, newsletters, and stay up to date. And you can also register um, to receive email updates as the project is advancing. The contractor is a joint venture, so this is a very big project. So we had uh, Mass Tech and Halley Engineering contractors team up, and they made GGI Constructors joint venture. This is a, an overview or a diagram of the project area, and it gives you a layout of where the improvements will take place. So it has our project limits on the west end, Northwest 19th Avenue along the Palmetto Expressway, on the east end, Northwest 167th Street and Northwest 2nd Avenue at the footsteps of North, at the uh, footsteps of North Miami Beach. On the north end, Miami Gardens Drive and the Florida's Turnpike, and then heading all the way south to 135th Street and I-95. So those are the five facilities that this project will be working on. We also will be working on some of the side streets like Northwest 6th Avenue and Northwest 6th Court. Here's a more zoomed in version of a rendering of the improvements. This is the core of the Golden Glades Interchange where all five of these very important facilities meet. So let's begin by discussing the project benefits. Here you see the FDOT compass, and that serves as the guiding principle for FDOT. The compass emphasizes the significance of having clear direction in the transportation sector. It also sets the direction and ensures alignment uh, with FDOT's goals of meeting transportation needs not only now, but of course, in the future. Key areas, as you see on the compass, include safety, resiliency, supply chain, technology, workforce development, with communities being at the center of FDOT's operations. I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to FDOT Design Project Manager, Lola, to discuss a little bit more about the project benefits. Thank you, Sergis. Um, this project has many improvements that touch upon our FDOT compass. 
but um, to keep this presentation short, I will just highlight a few. Um, over 50,000 feet of new drainage pipes are being installed in this project, um, along with uh, the construction of 32 new bridges to, to improve the mobility, to the regi regional mobility um, and um, connectivity. Uh, the, additionally, the project includes updates to lighting, improvements to emergency access and incident response time via new lanes and ramps along the interchange. This interchange will serve as a major freight connector with access to South Florida seaports and airports. We'll install runway vehicle detection systems at various locations along the interchange and install traffic monitoring cameras, which will play a critical role in managing the safety and mobility of the traveling public. The project will also create employment opportunities during construction, enhancing the economic activity. Now, I'll, we'll, now I will go into more specific benefits, um, starting with the most important improvements of the project, which is this new flyover ramp that will provide a con direct connectivity from State Road 826 to I-95 northbound. This movement does not exist today. The project will also be providing a direct connection for the express lanes between the Florida Turnpike and I-95, both in the northbound and southbound direction. We're also gonna be reconstructing and widening I-95 both in the northbound and southbound direction, adding capacity to um, alleviate the general flow of traffic. Um, and we'll also be reconstructing and widening I-95 to and from the Florida Turnpike. Um, the new lanes in this area will improve the traffic significantly from what we see out there today. Uh, we're also gonna be relocating the exit to Stero 7 to provide a better connectivity to the Mo uh, Golden Glaze Multimodal Transportation Facility and we're also gonna be repaving and restriping the roadway along the Palmetto Expressway. Sorry. Excellent, thank you, Lola. So to my in-towners or maybe out-of-towners, most likely maybe to get here to this conference, you might have driven through the Golden Glades Interchange. So we just wanna give you a little bit of some information on what to expect in terms of the maintenance of traffic. This, there will be nighttime lane closures, there will be overnight detours, there will be traffic shifts to be able to build these 32 new bridges. There will be around the clock work zones. And of course, when traveling through the interchange, that will increase the travel time. So just something to keep in mind um, as this project kicks off in mid-March. And we have a commitment to make sure that we can keep all access to properties in the surrounding area open while construction is taking place. On any typical construction project, you have dust, noise, vibration, and in the next slide, I'll show you guys how we plan on mitigating that because there will be heavy equipment in the area, there's gonna be construction workers. So just something to keep in mind as we kick off construction on this project. And we know there, there will be potential inconveniences. So our team is taking a proactive approach in terms of having water and sweeping, uh, watering and sweeping on a regular basis, vibration monitoring, having certified flaggers, coordinating with partner agencies such as, for example, Miami-Dade Transit to make sure that we still have, so that the community still has access to bus service. Um, something that we're really excited about is the partnership that FDOT has established with the One Network. And so that allows us to have real-time lane closure information on your favorite navigation app, such as Google Maps, Waze, Apple Maps. So while construction is taking place, not only can you go to the website, but I think most of us put the address of where we're going to in our GPSs. So that's gonna allow us to communicate through the One Network platform so that that information also goes out to those navigation apps and everybody is updated on what to expect. Of course, we'll use overhead message boards and um, something that's also unique to this area is there will be enhanced Road Ranger service. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but there is a service that's available to commuters in the area and it provides incident response while you're on the highway, on a state road, um, and on the Golden Glaze Interchange Project, there will be increased road ranger service while construction is taking place. And to be able to optimize traffic flow, we're, we also will be coordinating with Miami-Dade DTPW to make sure that we can optimize the traffic flow through traffic signal adjustments. 
Now, FDOT understands the importance of proactive and effective communication with the community. So this project has a dedicated multilingual community outreach team that I am a part of, meaning that we will have information in English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole throughout the life of the project. And we will have a combination of engaging the public via pop-ups. If your employer um, would like for us to give a presentation, we can come to your organization, to your agency, provide the same presentation. We're committed to making sure that we can bring this information to the community. This is a pretty significant project that will have impacts to the traveling public while the project is taking place. So we will be at pop-up events, partnering with different businesses to make sure that there is that dialogue with the community that FDOT values very much to make sure that people are aware of what to expect while the project is taking place. Of course, we'll have door-to-door -door outreach. We'll be engaging with residents in the area who might be impacted. And if you go to go-ggi.com, which is in the final stages of being launched, you can also sign up to get emails about the project. Um, something that's very unique to this project as well is we're working with advertising partners to have geofencing advertising, meaning if somebody drives through the Golden Glades interchange, Later on that evening, whenever they go on their favorite app, they could be served an advertisement about the GGI project. So we're just looking at all different types of ways to be able to get the word out and keep people informed about these lane closures and detours. All right, so that's my contact information up there. I'll serve as the senior community outreach specialist. That's my cell phone. That's my email address. We wanna make sure that yeah, feel free to take a picture of this. This is also a QR code that takes you directly to the GGI project website. Something else that we're working on is creating a dedicated project hotline where folks can call and still reach me during work hours, but after hours, since a lot of these operations will occur at night, they can still get information via the hotline after hours. And to finish our presentations, we always end off with a message from the FDOT safety office. Did you know that texting and driving is illegal in Florida? FDOT reminds you to please put it down. Thank you so much, everyone. Please drive safe and take care.